Today I'm telling you about my experience with the X-Car by Venables. Invenables gave me the CNC carving machine in exchange for an honest review, so in this video I will share with you my opinion about the X-Card. The first impressions were great, everything was really well packed and labeled, and the quality of the components seems very good. I needed to make a table to support the machine, so I skipped the instructions directly to the work area assembly steps. The instructions are very good, very clear and only noticed two or three minor mistakes that were easily found and fixed. I spent some days assembling everything, but I didn't find it difficult at all. I maintained all the parts in their packages until it was the right time to use them because I didn't want to get confused and I wasn't familiarized with all the names of the components. So everything went pretty good and straightforward. I did find it a bit hard to screw the motor plates with bolts directly into the maker slides by hand, so I did carefully create the threads and then connect the parts. The main reason that the CNC machine is so cheap is because you need to put it all together, including cutting, threading, aligning and even soldering. I enjoyed all the process and the fact that I know every part and how they work. It's not the same as getting a pre-assembled, ready-to-use, out-of-the-box product, of course, but spending some time calibrating and getting everything as square and aligned as possible really makes this machine a good value for your money. The wiring was easy, the connections are really well explained in the written instructions and videos, and the soldering is not too complicated. You can't be expecting perfection and absolute precision with the X-Carve, I mean the best you get is determined by the investment you make in terms of time, patience, research and experiments, but a good thing is that the machine is open source so you can always make upgrades and changes as long as you know what you want. This is the first time I plugged the X-Carve to the computer using Easel which is a free software from Inventables. I used the 1 16th bit to cut some letters on a piece of green MDF and I actually had to stop the cutting because the belt from the x-axis was slipping. So I searched about that issue in the forum and found a suggestion of applying zip ties so that's what I did. The forum is absolutely great, you can find pretty much everything about the most common issues and even more advanced problems that people is having and the Inventables team is always there to help. Let's take a closer look in these letters. It seems that the second and subsequent passes are narrower than the first pass and it doesn't have to do with the letter itself because we have two ends and they're different. We can also see that the bottoms of the letters are not perpendicular to the vertical lines. I was curious to see how small it can actually engrave so I chose an engraving bit and I made some tiny tests on acrylic and it worked fine except that I was getting organic shapes instead of triangles. The other tests I made didn't come out as good as I was expecting but that had to do with using the wrong bit, bad tensioning and also the fact that the spindle wasn't powerful enough so most of the times it would go somewhere else and ruin the workpiece in the last pass. A good example of that is this question mark with a narrow point that I made for a previous project. The material was PVC with foam core, which is a fairly soft material and it seemed to be cutting beautifully until the last pass when it all went crazy. 
There are many factors to clearly evaluate exactly what the problem is and what to specifically change to improve the quality of the final object and this has been a great time for me to discover this new way of working and learning how to operate this tool that I actually find really valuable to have in the workshop. At some point the spindle stopped working when I was cutting these little parts to make a skeleton like the one in my previous video. I talked directly to Inventables about the problem and they managed a way to replace that small spindle by a Dewalt router which is so much better. I wanted to try the PVC foam again so I opened the question mark project and told the machine to cut the arrow at once, just like I would do with a regular router. I set the speed of the router to just a little over the middle and turn it on. The result was incredibly better, the edges were so much softer as you can see in comparison with the previous test. If you're planning to buy an X-Carve, you won't have the spindle issues because the Dewalt router is now the default spindle so you will go straight into the good part, at least from my perspective. Just want you to be aware that you will have dust going everywhere but you can always make some kind of extraction hood to connect your dust collector. Here I'm making a new insert plate for my table saw and pieces for a kid's game based on the Peter and the Wolf story. Overall, I think the X-Carve is a good machine for the price, though you should not expect it to carve perfectly just right after assembly, you'll probably get some frustrations on the run, but take your time and tweak everything properly because it is totally worth your investment. You should check out Inventables.com to know more about the X-Carve and their other products. They have like tons of different materials from wood, cork, plastics, metals, a bunch of stuff. So thank you so much Inventables for sending me the machine. I really appreciate it and your support is absolutely great. I'm sure I'll be making lots of projects with the X-Carve and hopefully create videos about them. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you later. If you want to see what I'm working on next, subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media.